was sentenced to seven years after that. Yep. Now you, right, after you're locked down. How was that now doing this? Because you only did three. Three, three and a half. I three did three, three years, years and 11 months. 11 months. So you sentenced to seven, did three because of being a... a Robbery. A, no, because of, you're, you were released, released because you're a model's inmate, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. So during those three months, three years and 11 months, how was the... The reception in the prison, like now you're Maurice Claret, you're the, the celebrity from Ohio, you know. Yeah, it was, it was a process, and the process goes like this. Fortunately, I had uh, I called myself one of the greatest guys I've ever met. His name is uh, Keller Conte. He's from Africa, mm. and uh, he second day of prison, he pulled me over to uh, central office, and his his message was that of encouragement, and also he gave me some resources. So he said, uh, his father was the uh, chief of Sierra Leone for about 15 years. And he said, in Africa, when we got in trouble, we we bring guys closer to the village, repair them, figure out what's going wrong, and then send them back out. And he said, America, you all basically throw people away. And so what he suggested was that I basically get into a bunch of therapeutic courses uh, while I was in prison, uh, thinking for a change, responsible adult culture, uh, cage of rage, parenting classes, and other stuff that basically assist you in basically going to therapy. And so when I started going through this stuff, uh, I just immediately... Uh, just seeing that it was something that I needed, you know, saying to work on myself and to work on my thoughts and cognitive behavioral therapy and trauma-informed care and all of these things that help you to govern yourself better. But then also, I'm locked down for 20 hours out the day. Still, so, still while you're now, you're yeah, so, sentenced. So you have different levels of security. You have uh, super max, you have max, you have close, you have medium, you have minimum. Mm. So for your people who are probably sentenced to 15 years to life, or they have violent crimes, they have closed for, uh, security facilities, C-L-O-S-C, -C, closed, mm -hmm. closed security, meaning that you're locked inside of a cell, yeah, right? That's a super max, right? No, no super max is up here, oh, then max, max, and then closed, okay. right? So that means you're locked down in a cell, and not, you're, not, you're not in a dormitory setting. Right. And so you have a okay. bunch of guys who are you know, housed together. And so what ended up happening was I just like, like literally read my ass off, and that's literally the transformation. So as I would go through these... Um, courses you start to discover that you have uh different parts of yourself as a human being that you've never discovered you know a lot of my life been mother athlete or a gangster right so when i start going through these therapeutic courses i'm like man i, I want to start to read i still have ambition to be successful and eventually that's what happened i started to read and and, and become a facilitator of programs and, and really just start to have a focus on you know what i wanted to get into